I'm Ron King, uh, Deceleration Subsystem Manager here at the Marshall Space Flight Center. Today we're going to be uh, talking about how we conduct uh, parachute development tests for large multi-stage uh, deceleration systems used in returning uh, solid rocket motors uh, back to a safe uh, splashdown and recovery in the Atlantic Ocean. And I'm Jeremy Myers, a systems engineer here at Marshall Space Flight Center in the optics and imaging branch. The video that you're looking at was captured with the high-speed parachute camera. This camera with can, can withstand the extreme environments of a launch vehicle, the launch process, the separation event, along with splashdown. Now this camera is different than a standard camera because it can capture video up to 1200 frames per second versus a normal camera at 30 frames per second. And the data is about four times the quality of standard video. Uh, we're conducting our, uh, our three main cluster tests today and uh, we're using our drogue as a programmer chute to set the stage for the proper time to deploy the mains. Uh, right now you're going to see the, uh, the main packs are released from our drop vehicle. The three mains are, are being deployed and as they, as they are de being deployed, Jeremy, why don't you describe how your high-speed camera is working and why we're using your high-speed camera on this, uh, on this test. Well, the video that you're looking at is captured at a high frame rate, or at 300 frames per second, so to the person looking at it would never be able to see the details that we're seeing here. But as you see, we just did a transition in speed, and this allows us to save memory space for the high speed events. There we've changed to 100 frames per second, and then when it gets really fast, as you see there, it's at 30 frames per second. And that's very good because now we can see real time as the uh, chutes are actually inflating. They're at the first reef stage. Uh, we control the, uh, we balance the loads uh, by, uh, by reefing the parachutes. They open in three stages with these mains. And uh, now you're seeing them uh, open up to the second stage. And again, uh, I think now your camera has slowed down again, Jeremy, and tell us why. Well, by slowing down, we can make that transition to different frame rates up to four times. So you just have so much storage space and here we see a, an event that is not very dynamic. In other words, um, the events are very stagnant so you don't need that high frame rate. Uh, the other benefit to us as a, as a parachute community is that with the high speed camera, when we go back and evaluate performance of the chutes, with the high frame rate, uh, we look frame by frame, we can really get the detail of what's happening as the chutes uh, deploy as they inflate and then as you're seeing now as they uh, go through the reefing stages. Now we're going to a, a full open which is 100% uh, utilization of the, of the full canopy and I should mention that these canopies full open are 150 foot in diameter each. Uh, the largest uh, uh, re-entry booster rocket parachutes ever developed uh, that will be used on uh, for returning boosters to the Atlantic Ocean.